Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, inshallah, we are going to see how we can use these codes of a restricted Boltzmann machine in MATLAB environment. We have developed this code based on uh, this paper of uh, Jeffrey Hinton, a practical guide to training restricted Boltzmann machine, three important codes on the web. <coughs> so, the tool that we used here in uh, to train our RBM is called contrastive divergence. The first thing that we should do before training our network is to put our training uh, set here in train set. Actually, in this example, we used uh, uh, images to illustrate the effect of training. Uh, an RBM and to see also the result of regenerated data. First, you have to put all of your training data here, training images in training set, and at least one image, one image different from these images to illustrate and to see how the RBMs can work on, on new images. Before, uh, after that, we have to identify here the size of image. Here, what you want to be uh, this size is unified or a default size for all the images in the training set. After preparing your data, this part concerning preparing or of your training set. After the training set is prepared, we have here to identify the number of iterations here and number of Gibbs sampling and the number of neuron you can choose any number according to the best training accuracy that you want and the learning rate here according to Jeffrey Hunter uh, it's varied from 0 0.01 to 0 0.201 and then you have to choose here the size of mini batch according to your uh, GPU characteristic or your computer also. Then, after identifying these parameters and the, the, the name of picture that you want to illustrate, in this case I put test here, you can change it, change your picture here to illustrate the, the performances of RBMs. After modifying these parameters, you can unleash the training process. As you can see, you choose your folder of training data here. The program starts iterations of training. These are the index of iterations of training. And finally, the program will show the training accuracy root mean squared error accuracy of the training and shows an example of the originated image and the original image so the difference you can see with your naked eye the differences between the regenerated and the original image as you can see this is the regenerated image it's with low, a little bit low quality than the original image, and this is the curve of uh, the loss function of training. Thank you very much.